Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you um, a true Babu Dog setup. Um, how to actually set up a true Babu Dog rig. Um, in the past I've done um, like sort of like Babu Dog rigs, but they're not like real Babu Dogging. Um, you know, I don't actually fish them like a real Babu Dog rig, um, but I'll kind of like, um, you know, kind of halfway fish it. Um, instead of actually dragging my, you know, my weight on the bottom, I just have it kind of ticking along. Um, not really, you know, down there like an actual Bobo Dog rig. So, anyway, so the difference between a Bobo Dog rig and a regular rig is with a regular rig, you're going to have a float like this. Um, you know, you're going to have a normal, you know, slip float. Um, or you could use fixed floats too, but like a normal rig would be a, a slip float like this. Um, and if you look at this here, it's a, you know, it's a Bobo. Um, looks normal, right? It's thick at the top, they taper down at the bottom. And they're meant to sit vertically, straight up and down like this, the water level, you know, somewhere up around here. And then you vertically, uh, you have a vertical presentation, you know, you vertically fish a bead or fish a jig or a pink worm, you know, straight underneath this bobber. But with bobber dogging, you're, um, what you're actually doing is basically you're drift fishing, kind of like drift fishing, um, but with an indicator, you know, with a bobber to, so you can watch when you get a bite. Um, and it also helps the bait to drift along. It helps, you know, drag the bait along. So for this, instead of using, you know, your standard bobber, um, you actually use a, uh, um, these bobber dogging floats here. Um, and these are actually for bobber dogging. And if you look at them, you know, you can see the difference here. Instead of a regular float, um, where it's, you know, tapered down, these are actually cut off. These are really fat, really thick, and they're cut off, so they're, they're flat. On uh, the back side is flat and uh, what that does is that the current will catch that when it's floating on top the current's going to catch that it's going to help um, push your gear down the river um, so uh, I'll show you the rig here and then you might understand a little better so what you do is of course run um, I have braided line for my main line you can use high viz you can use this is just green braided line like 30 pounds I typically run nothing under 30. This actually might be 20, it's pretty thin, but usually I like a 30 or 40 pound uh, main braided line. Um, I put a bobber stop on there. That's just a, a little bobber stop there. Um, one of those little rope ones. Um, they make, you know, all kinds of different bobber stops, but um, bobber stop, then I got a little bead, and then you slide on your bobber dogging bobber right there. And then from that, Got my line down to a little uh, three-way swivel system. It's actually not a real three-way swivel. Um, I kind of, you know, it's kind of like a made-up rig, kind of like a made-up three-way swivel there. Um, but there we go. Um, I also run a little, another little bobber stop below my bobber, um, and I run that a few inches above that setup there, the swivel and the weight, just in case um, if I'm fishing, you know, and I get hung up, this weight gets hung up, and I break off. Um, I'm going to save my bobber. It's going to break underneath that second bobber stop and I'll save my bobber. Uh, but anyway, so I have that tied down to a uh, got hooked here. Got a hook hanging off a leader. It keeps hooking me. Uh, but I tie it down to that three-way swivel setup. Or in this case, it's a, it's a little janky swivel rig I have. Um, then I have a little uh, Dave's Tangle Free weight on there. And you can use any kind of weight. You can use a pencil lead and cut it. Um, you know, you can use all kinds of stuff. But... I recently just picked up some of these Dave's Tangle Free. They're like a little ball weight, kind of like a kind of like a cannonball, but a little bit different shape. Um, and they're they're pretty cool weights. You know, this little rig right here is not going to get tangled up at all. Um, then from that little swivel, I've got a leader running down to whatever you know. This is a little bead on there. That's a little like 10 mil bead. Um, but you could put whatever you want. You know, you can put a you could do like a, a pink worm style, you could put a piece of egg on there, you know, some piece of shrimp, um, whatever. Um, I have these eggs sitting here. I don't just randomly have eggs sitting here, okay? They're, they're out drying, they're air drying right now. Um, I didn't just like pull them out for this video, but uh, they're air drying right here. So, um, you know, but piece of bait, whatever, yarn ball, um, you can fish whatever behind it. Uh, but that's how you rig it up. And so the way this works is this weight down there uh, you actually want that weight to drag on your to drag on the bottom. Um, you know, it's kind of like back in the day when I drift fish, you use a piece of pencil lead, throw it out there, and you drag that pencil lead. Just let it, you know, drag along the bottom or like side drifting. Um, well, with this, you're basically doing the same thing. You're letting that weight bounce along the bottom, 
but you're using this float up here uh, as two things, an indicator, so when you do get a bite, this float will go under the water. So it's an indicator, so you know when you get a bite. And then with that being the bobber like that, cut like that, what it does is when this is going down the river, this is floating and it's pointing down river, so say towards you guys is down river. So it's pointing like this down river, and the current is pushing up against that, that side right there. It's got that big, big cutoff area, it's a big surface area right there for the water to hit. And the water is going to push that and help push this down river. And so it helps this weight that's down there on the bottom, it, it helps push that along. Um, so in slower water or, you know, in a spot that doesn't have quite a good of a drift um, and need a little bit extra help, the current will push on that bobber and kind of help to drag everything down and uh, it won't get hung up as much. It'll help to keep everything moving. When it gets, when it hits a rock, it will help push over that rock. Um, so depth, when, so, you know, the depth that you want to fish, because you want this weight, you want that weight actually down on the bottom. Uh, so you want to fish pretty deep. Um, this is, you know, something where you find, you find how deep your hole is and then you go a little bit deeper. So if I've got a four foot, um, you know, I got a hole that's like four feet deep, I'm going to at least go five feet deep, um, at least slide my bobber up five feet. So you know for sure that that weight is, is down there dragging on the bottom. Um, you always want to be deeper than the hole that you're fishing. So that weight's down there dragging on the bottom and then the current's pushing that bobber, helping to drag it. And then your bait, which, you know, your bead, whatever, uh, is down there dragging behind it, wash, wishing around in the current and, uh, you know, drops right, in, it's right in front of the steelhead. So, this is an excellent technique for getting down to the fish and being in the strike zone. A lot of, a lot of problems with, uh, you know, people, beginner steelhead fishermen and, and uh, you know, people having trouble not catching steelhead and salmon as well, it's a great technique for salmon, is um, they're not getting in the strike zone. You know, you see a guy who's bobber fishing, um, you know, a traditional way, and it's, you know, you got a hole that's like 10 feet deep, and, you know, and he's only fishing like two feet, you know, his bobber's only like, Bobber stops only up two feet. He's only fishing, you know, two feet when it's 10 feet deep and those fish are laying right off the bottom, you know, so it's way up there. The fish are, you know, they might see it, um, and they're pro but they're probably not going to swim, you know, all the way off the bottom to come get it. Maybe if you have a real aggressive fish, um, you know, so maybe you catch a fish every once in a while, but if you're not really, you know, um, if you're always struggling um, with, you know, something like that with knowing how deep to fish, um, this is a great way to do it because you're down there on the bottom in the strike zone. That weight is down there on the bottom. That bait, usually that bait's a little bit off the bottom, which is perfect. Those fish, um, you know, they're going to sit right off the bottom. Uh, but not always. There is times where there's suspend, you know, and a spinner is good. You know, that's when you throw like a spinner or something. Um, but this is a really good technique. Um, yeah, bobber dogging. Um, you know, if you guys haven't tried this, go ahead and try it out. Um, see how you like it. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and hope you learned something. I'll see you in the next one.